What is going on, everybody? I woke up and I said to myself, damn, the Sixers really did that. The Sixers really got the job done in Oracle. And the major part of this this video, the question is, how great was Ben Simmons yesterday? And I need to take a look at the best career game he's ever had, which was yesterday, and take a look at it statistically. By far, by far, the best game I've ever seen him play. Now, defensively was key to me. I know what he did offensively. I understand how powerful he was and how dominant he was and how he finished with 26, 8, and 6. I get that. Defensively, this kid at 22 years old defended 1 through 5 against a great basketball team, arguably the best ever. I mean, the strongest team ever. 1 through 5 guarded each position. How about this? I mean, he had three steals, the one block on Steph Curry, which was awesome closeout by the perimeter late in the ball game. But how about this? Let's take a look at Steph Curry, who was amazing last night. He dropped 41, hit 10 threes. You know what he shot when Ben Simmons was guarding him? 0 of 2. Kevin Durant, one of the most elite scorers in this basketball association. What did he finish with? Three and seven. Three of seven. When guarded by the 22-year-old Ben Simmons. Ben on defense was elite yesterday. Elite. It's like everyone just nitpicks about the shooting. The kid dominated on the floor, especially the defensive side, which was just amazing. Amazing. Now, when you look at his offensive stats, when Draymond Green was guarding Ben Simmons, 5 of 6. When KD guarded him, 2 of 3. And when Andre Iguodala defended him, 2 of 3. Pretty, pretty successful numbers there. Pretty, pretty successful numbers there. Best game of his career by far. Best game by far. But it raises another question. Did this win change your mind on where the Sixers really are? I understand that it was just one regular season win, but it's a good win in Oregon. I mean, it's a good win. They won 11 straight. It was a great Sixers W. The way it started, the way they fought back, it was a good win. I, I get it. I know it's only one regular season game. I don't think the Sixers could beat the Golden State Warriors in a best-of-seven series with Clay Thompson in there as well. No, I don't. But when you take a look at the East, you take a look at where the Sixers are, you take a look at the top four teams in the Eastern Conference, does this change your mind on where we actually are? How about we give Brett Brown some credit? How about we give Brett Brown some credit for what he has done? This is the hell stretch. How about it? How about it? Brett Brown has, has gotten some insane criticism. How about it? He had a great win last night, and he rung the bell in the locker room. By the way, back to Ben Simmons. Jimmy Butler did close out the game as point guard. Great move by Brett Brown, by the way. But that that is because of Ben Simmons' um, inability to shoot the free throws and, and take it to the rack late. And getting fouled. That's what that is. But Brett Brown made an adjustment. It's working by putting Jimmy back at the one for that. For the time being late down the stretch. And it was a great decision by the coach. But how about him? He deserves some respect for these wins he's putting out there. He deserves some respect. So, when you look at the East. Milwaukee, which is crazy. I mean, crazy. Toronto, they got a phenomenal bench. Great depth and a star like... Kawhi Leonard. Us and the Celtics. Indiana, they had a good run. They had a, a good chance until Victor Oladipo went down. And, and now you can see them slowly starting to, to fall, which makes sense. But do you think we can do this? Do you think we can make a run? Do you think we can win the Eastern Conference? A win like that shows guts. We've seen our, our team play against big-time squads in big moments and fall and fall hard. They just beat the Golden State Warriors in Golden State. With Joel Embiid having a horrendous start. One thing I want to pinpoint on Joel. We've seen him struggle before in the past. And he get all mentally out of it. And he looked a mess. He was grabbing rebounds working. Even though it wasn't pretty. And it got sloppy at times. And he was turning the ball over. He was working on the glass. He wasn't pouting. 
He got ugly. I know his body sometimes gets a little down. He was still working, though. It was a different type of, of mindset he had where even though he was struggling, he was still going out there and, and, and competing. And clearly it, it finishes with a 26 and 20 night. Oh, <laughs> well, like, think about it. Think about it. The ugliest first half we've ever seen out of Joel Embiid. He finished with 26 and 20 and 5 assists, by the way, while we're at it. Yeah, this, this changes my, my thought process. It does. Do I think we have enough to win the NBA championship? I, I mean, I don't know if we can really compete for a seven-game series with teams like the Warriors just because we beat them once. It was a great win, and I'm not taking anything away. But what it makes me do is it makes me look at the East. And keep in mind, Ben Simmons has to play at this level. See, if Joel Embiid's your second guy, like he was last night, that's a good sign. That means you have some great talent on your team. Ben was number one last night. If Joel Embiid is your second guy, yeah, we can make a run at this thing. We can make a run at this thing. In the East. I mean, I'm talking getting to the Eastern Conference Finals and doing some damage. Why can't we? Why can't we compete with Milwaukee? Well, the one thing still lingering is the bench depth. They performed last night. Absolutely. Landry Shamit, Bolden, Moose, yes. They, they, they showed out. But is that going to be able to hold off for a long period of time? That's the one thing that still concerns me. And I still think we need to make a move. Landry Shamit's a, a baller. And one thing that was mentioned on Sports Radio today is there is interest in the league. See, if we're going to make a trade... We're going to have to give up assets. We don't really have assets. People are intrigued with Landry Shannon. Now, I will not trade him. I don't want to label him untouchable because, I mean, to, to add a star or whatever, I mean, I get it. You got to give up to receive. And, and we're not in talks with stars. We're attacking bench players, so it's different. But I'm not giving up Landry Shaman for another bench guy. No, I, I think his future is very bright, and, and J.J. Reddick's contract is hefty, and he's getting up there in age, and Landry Shamit could be a piece that is here for the future for quite some time. And on top of that, I would love to see him play the one. I think he could be really effective at the one position. But, yeah, we, we need to attack the bench. And with New Orleans Pelicans blowing up, there's names out there that I know a lot of people want. And that's a good route to go. Like I said, trading scares me because we need to add actual bodies. So trading means you got to give up to get some. And I'm not ready to just throw Markel Fultz away for a, a random-ass bench guy for half of a playoff run. I don't think I'm willing to go that far. It's crazy that this Markel Fultz thing is where it is. Like, I just said his name and I started laughing. Like, really? Damn, Markel Fultz, man. What a damn shame. Seriously, what a damn shame. It's to the point that it is. But, I mean, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So I the, the two questions I want you guys to answer in the comments section below is uh, how great was Ben last night? I mean, you got to look at him, not just offensively, but what he did on the defensive side of the floor, guarding one through five, looking at Kevin Durant, who shot three of seven, look at Steph Curry, who shot O of two and, and got a shot rejected at the perimeter. Three steals. He was great. He was great defensively on top of what he did offensively. Going to the rack with that with that baby hook shot that kisses off the glass and rattles around the rim. He was awesome. And the second question is, did, did this win show you something? Do you have faith that this team can do something in the playoffs? For some reason, I think when it comes to the East, something about the Celtics is just our kryptonite, whether it's mental at this point or the way Brad Stevens plays us. See, the thing is, when you look at the Warriors and you look at their style of play, I know they probably don't rely off other teams, but you would think some teams would look at what the Celtics do against Ben Simmons and implement that into their game. The Warriors are so good, I don't know if they look at other people's film to do that because they play their own unique style, but... Something about the Celtics. So if there is one concern, it's I feel like the Celtics are just our kryptonite. But Kawhi, he's obviously an elite defender, and every time Ben Simmons plays against him, he struggles. So did this win show you something? It showed me. I mean, Ben has never showed up against an elite talent team to this nature. I mean, this was his best NBA game by far, and he balled out, and it was awesome, and it was electric, and I'm really proud. I mean, 
Just an awesome victory out of the Sixers last night. And I'm excited to see what they do on Saturday night. Another 10 o'clock, or I can't wait for these West Coast teams to come here into Philadelphia. And we can finally watch them 7 o'clock games. But, hey, two days... Two days in a row, uh, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, we had the double whammy, Flyers, Sixers, Flyers, Sixers, both coming out with W's. How about it? Who's your daddy? What's he do? Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.